What's up everyone, it's Phil Jones from Projector Reviews. Elite Screens is one of the major screen manufacturers in the industry and they have tons of different options. So whether you're a consumer, you need an, a screen for an educational use or even a business application. Today we're gonna talk about one of their fixed frame screens, the Aeon CLR3 series. This screen utilizes their CLR3 material, which is designed for use with ultra short throw projectors. And this screen is available in two sizes, 103 inches and 123 inches. Compared to a matte white screen, the CLR material, which stands for ceiling light rejecting, provides a massive boost in contrast when used in a room with ambient light. A ceiling light rejecting screen like the CLR3 um, is even more effective than a traditional ambient light rejecting screen. Because they are designed for an ultra short throw projector, they only reflect light coming from below at a very steep angle. So they do a spectacular job rejecting light coming from above and they even reject light coming directly at the screen. A ceiling light rejecting screen does such a great job rejecting light that you can utilize your ultra short throw projector pretty much any time, day or night. And the Aeon CLR3 screen would be a great solution for family room or maybe even an executive boardroom. Earlier ambient light rejecting screens and ceiling light rejecting screens were shipped fully assembled in these massive heavy boxes. I remember struggling to stuff a gigantic box holding a 100 inch screen into a tiny little hotel elevator in New York City. So when the package holding the Aeon CLR3 arrived, I was expecting a much bigger box. But I was surprised that the box containing the screen was light and easy for one person to carry. One reason why the screen ships in such a small box is because the longer horizontal frame rails are shipped in two pieces. This literally cuts the length of the box in half. Look, I love projection systems, but setting up a screen can be a hassle. They usually ship in these giant boxes that are hard to move around, and attaching a screen to a fixed frame can be tedious and difficult. Assembling the screen was pretty straightforward, and no special tools were required. You just needed a Phillips screwdriver. The first thing you need to do is assemble the pieces that make up the frame. Next, you need to roll out the screen material on top of the sponge sheet that is included in the package, and then carefully place the frame on top of the screen. Elite Screens has done a great job with the Aeon CLR3 screen of eliminating one of the most painful parts of putting a fixed screen together, which is snapping the material to the frame. I hate having to align dozens of little buttons along the frame and then having to stretch the material enough to snap it to the buttons. The Aeon CLR3 uses springs to keep the screen taut instead of buttons. This simplifies the attachment process. And Elite Screens even includes a tool to make installing the springs easier. Once assembled, the screen is still very lightweight but I still recommend you recruit a friend to help you move the screen around the room and mount it to your wall. An important note, due to the microstructure of the ceiling light rejecting screen's material, it is important that you mount the screen in the right direction. But don't worry, the top and bottom of the screen are clearly labeled. The Aeon CLR3 is one of the options that are available with a Mosaic Go 360 projection system, which I just reviewed. Elite actually sent me a 103 inch screen so I could use it to evaluate the performance of the Mosaic Go Sport 360. And the screen worked really well with the Mosaic Go projector. However, the Aeon CLR3 is also sold separately and this screen is one of Elite Screen's best ceiling light rejecting fixed screens. So it's an awesome option for higher end ultra short throw projectors. Since I had the Aeon CLR3 set up in my lab for a few weeks, I tested it with several high-end ultra short throw projectors from companies like LG, Epson, and even Hisense. When combined with a higher-end ultra short throw projector like the LG, the result was a bright, vivid image, and overall, the picture quality was outstanding. 
Since the CLR3 material has a very wide viewing angle of 170 degrees, the image looked great regardless of where I was sitting in my room. In addition to the Aeon CLR3 screen, Elite Screens also sent me a sample of matte white material. When the CLR3 material is compared to the matte white material in a room with ambient light, the difference is very noticeable. Not only did the CLR3 material improve the contrast in a room with ambient light, it also enhanced the black levels of the ultra short throw projector even when the lights were off. You should note that the CLR3 has a gain of 0.8, so the image may not be as bright as a higher gain screen, but it is worth it for the wider viewing angle, the lack of hot spots, and the improved black levels. When compared to the matte white screen, I didn't see any noticeable color shift. There was a little bit of sparkle, but this is common with ambient light rejecting screens and ceiling light rejecting screens, but it wasn't major and it wasn't visually distracting. Overall, the Aeon CLR3 is a step up from a matte white screen, especially if you want to utilize your ultra short throw projector day or night. The screen is well built and it looks great in your room. And if you want to further enhance the screen's appearance, there's even an optional LED backlight kit. If you have an ultra short throw projector and you're looking for a high quality ceiling light rejecting screen, check out the Aeon CLR3 from Elite Screens. To learn more about the Aeon CLR3, check out our detailed review on projector reviews. Take care and I will talk to you soon.